Working with a database may seem like a complex process to a beginner, but Microsoft Access has made it a fairly easy task. <gasps> In this chapter, you will learn how to use Access's database templates and the database wizard to design and build your own database. Then you will work with a data sheet to enter data, move between records, select data, find records, and resize columns. You will also learn how to perform essential housekeeping tasks, such as compacting and backing up databases. Access provides a database wizard tool to help you create new databases. The database wizard asks you questions and then creates all the forms, tables, and reports for the type of database you choose, based on your answers. Let's take a look at the database wizard now. The database wizard starts when you choose a template. The database templates can be found on the databases tab of the templates dialog box, which is opened by clicking General Templates on the New File task pane. The available wizard templates are displayed. There are 10 different database wizard templates representing common business database applications. Let's create a database for managing the information about people, such as donors or vendors, who are in regular contact with the zoo. Before Access creates the database file, you will need to name the database. Type the name in the file name field and then click the Create button. After you name the file, the database window briefly appears, followed by the database wizard. In the database wizard dialog box, you will see a confirmation of the type of database you have chosen. In this example, you see the choice of the contact management database. Here are the fields available for this database. You can add or remove fields by clicking the checkbox next to the field name. Next, you need to select a style for the contact management database. You can choose from any of the styles listed on the right side of the database wizard. Let's take a look at each style before continuing. After you have decided on a style, click the Next button in the database wizard. Let's choose the Blend style for this database. The next step is to choose a style for your printed reports. You can choose from six different styles. Let's take a closer look at these styles. Let's use the casual style for this database. To choose a style, click the style name, then click the Next button in the Database Wizard dialog box. You can give the database a new title or add a picture to be printed with all of the reports. For now, click Next to accept the default options and continue. 